Welcome to Chela's Cartooner. In this video, we will see about EPDM rubber widely used in engineering field. And end of this video, we will have a quiz to know how much information you gathered out of this video. EPDM is a synthetic rubber processed through chemical processing and naphtha. We heard about this name naphtha. It's a byproduct of crude oil, which is the basic material for manufacturing EPDM rubber. So, ethylene and propylene are produced from naphtha, which is taken further for this processing. And then homonomer is added, which is a double bonded hydrogen. And furtherly, it is produced into EPDM rubber. And further, it is processed with sulfur. 3 to 5 percentage of sulfur is added through vulcanization process. This enables cross linkings and final EPDM rubber. It's having a quality of highly flexible and can be stretched to the greater extent. EPDM rubber processed in multiple ways to get a final product. A majorly transfer molding, compression molding and extrusion processes are adopted. And you can see the right side image to understand the processes. First one is transfer molding where preheated material is kept and it is transferred to a mold to get a final shape. And the same way free heated material is kept into the mold with the compression force to get a final shape is called compression molding. And in, in extrusion and preheated material is forcefully passed through a nozzle to get a final shape is called extrusion. As it is a synthetic material and it, uh, it based on the application, the properties can be adjusted in this. And for inspection, you can find the multiple properties. First one is density, it's 1.1 tensile strength, 17 megapascal, elongation percentage, it is 450, and shore harness, it varies from 50 to 70, and compression set, 20 to 60 percentage. And in the final product, it goes through multiple testings on its heat aging, temperature cycle and ozone resistance. In this test, like the product is kept under the atmosphere of either heat or ozone exposure for a certain time period and taken back and that harness and shapes and visual parameters are being verified to evaluate the properties of a material. Now let us see the advantages and disadvantages of EPDM rubber. So first advantages are it is having a high UV and water resistant and it is having excellent high and low temperature resistance and energy efficient and good electrical insulator and good fire resistance. So disadvantages are and it is having poor resistant to a petroleum based fuels. So it cannot be used in the fuel applicable areas and hazardous to eyes, lungs and skins and subjected to stress crack. Now let us see the application of EPDM rubber. So first one is in domestic application it is being used as a roof lining. So there are two reasons for using it as a roof lining is one is weatherproof and second one is highly durable and coming to the automobile field it is being widely used in the vehicles the few examples are weather seal dampers mounting cushions and hoses so the reason for being produced with this material are this having a good temperature resistance high uv resistance and ignobing in cost and water resistance and good wear resistance and that based on these all properties, it is being widely used in automobile products. In vehicles, you can see multiple parts are produced through EPDM rubber. Friends, let's have a small quiz on the learning of EPDM rubber. First one is EPDM is a, a option is natural rubber or B synthetic rubber. Second. EPDM's major disadvantages is option A 
लो फ्यूअल रेसिस्टेंस ऑप्शन बी लो यूवी रेसिस्टेंस थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज वॉटर ऑब्जॉर्बन लिमिट ऑफ टीपीडीएम रबर इज ऑप्शन ए वन परसेंटेज ऑप्शन बी एट परसेंटेज फ्रेंड्स शेयर यूर आंसर इन द कमेंट सेशन friends please like and share this video and please comment what all topics you look for a learning in future so that i will make a videos in those topics thanks for watching